Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, bringing Virgos their weekly love read. Virgos, this is for the week of August 15th through the 21st. So guys, I'm doing something a little different today. I'm doing your love and romance journey versus um, like the person on your mind or messages from your person. Um, so it's a little bit different today. It's still going to be a general read, so take it how it resonates. If you feel like this is not your read and it didn't really make any sense, you can check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unclear as to what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that'll take you to a website to get you that information. There's also a link in the description box below that'll take you to my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. Um, very inexpensive, but if you're interested in a personal read and you don't want to pay for one, I do currently have a free love read contest going on right now. If you're interested in that, you have to go to my YouTube page, you have to subscribe to my channel, and then go to the video that says free love reading contest, August 2020. Comment on that and like that. So those three things, subscribe to my channel, comment on the video and like the video. Um, not this one, but the free love reading contest video. Then you'll be put into a drawing. So if you'd like to do that, go check it out. And guys, another thing, these are timeless reads. So whenever you listen to this read is when you're meant to. Um, I put the dates on there and the months on there just so I know I'm getting content out on a regular basis. Um, instead of looking at the dates that the videos posted and things like that. All right, so what is your love journey looking like, guys? We have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. We have the Star card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. This is good, guys. Um, so we have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So the Queen of Swords, to me, can be a little cold at times. Um, so you could be dealing with a person that could be a little bit cold and detached at times um, or a little harsh with their words. Um, but I feel like the those are kind of negative connotations of the Queen of Swords. But I feel like the Queen of Swords has a lot of very positive um, co positive qualities as well. They're good communicators. They are um, like kind of no-nonsense. They cut out what doesn't serve them. They're very strong. They're very aware of what they want, very intelligent. So um, they're very, they're able to speak very well and very intellectual and have a very high, um, I was going to say high intelligence, but that's, they're not like superior IQ or anything like that, but they just very good communicators, very intelligent, very book smart, very direct, you know, very direct. Um, so I do see Queen of Swords is, um, it's not bad at all, but sometimes the Queen of Swords can be a little harsh. That's what I should have just said. Um, I do see what's coming toward you guys, though, is a wish fulfillment. I feel like um, the first card I'm going to pull here is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune to me is like things are going to be shifting and moving into your favor. Like things are starting to change. Things are going to be going your way. So um, if you're in a relationship, things are going to be getting better. If you're not in a relationship, the karma is shifting and coming around and you are going to be on a, a better path, more positive path coming up in the very near future in your love journey. I feel like, guys, you're definitely going to be with a wish fulfillment with the star card being here. This person coming towards you is going to be who you wanted. This is who you're hoping for. Could be an Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. I mean, we have multiple signs here. Um, but definitely someone that you've been wishing for and hoping for. This is the person that's going to make you so happy. Um, in terms of nobody should ever be responsible for your happiness except yourself. But this person coming into your life is going to make it that much more positive, right? That much easier, that, that much more easier for you to be happy. Um, this person too is willing to build with you. This person is, this is showing up as a seven of pentacles. This is someone who is willing to plant seeds and watch things grow to fruition. There's perseverance and there's patience in this situation. This person's not going to give up on you. They're going to be committed and you're not going to give up on them. I kind of even feel like if there's troubles, it's still going to be persistent. We're, we're building this from the ground up. We've planted these seeds. We're going to watch them grow instead of just kind of throwing in the towel. We also have the Page of Pentacles here. So this is um, a very slow energy in terms of love, but it's very grounded. It's committed. It's loyal. It is, um, this is like a good news or good messages coming towards you as well. Um, but this is a, a situation that is like long term. So this person is looking for long term and stability. Um, they want commitment. So they're not just playing games. This is not someone who is um, 
here today, gone tomorrow. This is a person that's like slow and steady wins the race. Excuse me. And this is the person that's going to be committed and loyal. And then we have the Six of Wands. This is like victory, right? This is success. This is love conquers all. This is fiery passion, right? So I feel like this person and you are going to be extremely successful together. Um, you're going to have a, um, a successful marriage, a successful committed relationship if you don't want to be in a marriage. This is going to be, um, this is going to work. It's going to be victorious, guys. Good read. Good read. And then the Queen of Swords, maybe you're just going to get some direct communication um, from a person. And that's going to help. That's going to be kind of how things start up between you. Like, I feel like you might get a message, like a direct message um, to prompt this relationship. Like, perhaps on social media. Like, maybe it'll be like, um, hey, saw your profile on my friend's page. Or, um, hey, I went to elementary school with you. Or, do you remember me? Or, you know, hey, we used to work together. You're, you used to work at such and such, right? Um, I feel like you're going to get a message from this person to kind of spark off this um, this relationship. And this could also just be an air sign too, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a cold, detached person, right? Let's get a couple of love and romance journey cards, guys, to see what else pops out for Virgo's love and romance journey. Wow, that's a lot. I've been pulling five cards. Let's see. Five cards pulled out. Wow, wow okay love it love it okay so guys I feel like um with this wheel of fortune being the first card right that I pulled out or that I talked about I feel like things are like moving and shifting in your favor right I think it's because you had to walk away from a situation previously um, one that was probably not easy to walk away from but you decided to walk away from a situation and purge and release all the baggage that came with it. I feel like you opened yourself up to a new stable start and that's what's coming toward you because you were able to purge and release crap from your past, people from your past, stuff that no longer served you. You guys, <laughs> I wish I got these cards, okay? Twin Flame, Intimacy, and passion. This card is like weird to me. Because I feel like you have to be like kind of hard to, to make out. Um, it's just weird to me. It's kind of dark. And then if you get too close, then you can't tell what it is. Anyways, intimacy, passion, and twin flame for your journey. So I feel like this person is your twin flame. It is your wish fulfillment, guys. I said that with the, the star card. It's your wish fulfillment. You're going to have passion. You're going to have intimacy. It's going to be intense, an intense connection. And if you don't know anything about twin flames, look that up because twin flames are not always the smoothest connections. Um, often we learn lessons from each other within a twin flame connection. Often there is um, rough waters and then you kind of come back around and smooth them out so uh just keep that in mind all right we're gonna get a couple messages of love cards oracle cards from all things intuitive for virgos longing someone is secretly yearning for you and children are important to this partnership past life loves guys your soul remembers this intense connection yeah that reminds me of, like that twin flame um, so I feel like, you know, maybe this Queen of Swords is is longing for you and secretly yearning for you, right, before they reach out to you or before you guys reconnect. Children are going to be important to this partnership. All right, let's get a couple of Romance Angel Oracle cards for Virgos. Romance Angel Oracle cards for Virgos. Codependencies, and this could be the one... Codependencies, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, I kind of feel like, guys, this is what you walked away from. This is what you purged and released before. Um, however, if it applies to current, that's fine too, or this coming relationship. Um, and when I think of codependency, this says addictions are affecting your romantic life. I don't necessarily think it's addictions. Codependency to me is not necessarily an addiction. Um, in terms of a substance, it could be more of like a personality, like so someone 
um, just is super dependent upon you and won't do anything for themselves or um, it's like an unhealthy balance in a relationship. So it doesn't necessarily have to be an addiction. This could be the one you already met your romantic partner you seek. Yeah. And then too, guys, like if you feel like, no, I haven't, there's no way I have and I've got this person, um, perhaps you met them in a past lifetime. But I feel like you probably do know this person already. All right. Divine Dating Lovers Oracle Cards from Angelic Revelation 144. Like, do I take that one? It didn't really follow the deck, so no, I'm not going to take it. All right, let's see what pops out for Virgos here. These are um, a little difficult to shuffle. Hidden relationship. What? And happier times. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this really works into uh, the rest of the read, guys. So I'm just going to leave them here. Hidden relationship and happier times. I mean, maybe it starts off as a hidden relationship. I don't get that. I don't see like deception cards here. Maybe you keep it from your family for a while. Instead of, maybe it's not a third party. Maybe it's like keeping away from your family. And happier times. I feel like happier times are coming. Happier times are on their way for you guys. I feel like that shift and that karma with the Wheel of Fortune, things are going to get just better. Things are going to get better. All right, we have um, the Little Yogi Happy Notes from Barbara Schauer. <laughs> Sorry, her last name is killing me. I'm not even sure how you say it. It's S-C-H-A-U-E-R. Schauer. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's see what pops out for Virgos. Oh, that's too many. Virgos, stop being greedy. These are also a little bit more challenging to shuffle because they're larger cards. What? I'm not sure if you get a happy times or happy note. Virgo, come on, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Oh, there we go. Peace begins within us. Peace begins within us, Virgos. So find your inner peace and then it will fall into place everywhere else. All right, Virgos, thank you so much for watching. So this was a much different format. If you guys liked it, please let me know. If you hated it, please let me know. Um, any feedback would be great on um, how you like this read or dislike this read. I don't, I just want to know if you want me to do it again this way another time because I usually have like messages from your person. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to jump in on that free love read contest, please do so. I appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.